line, tell them add a bomb line. We whipping plus free shipping, we like Amazon Prime. Yeah. Jack, bro, a heathen, I'm getting paid and my flow achieving. Top dog, now these bitches think they know the reason. Woo. You know it ain't tricking if you got it. Better get your bitch bread before you end up with a hoe that's Steven. Your hoe believing, I clap son and cab one. Bad boy, I put real bullets up in the cab gun. Nobody never stick their neck out, cause I snap one. Better not be more than one crown, I finna snatch one. Think the shell's fake till I hatch one and attack son. Nigga, strap came with a strap, like I attach one. The black one did it, I clapped out, you clap son, quit it. Clap back, I snap back, I been in crack son, fit it. Money got me like an ass, I'm been a smack one with it. She don't fuck for bread, I bet I hit that one with it. Who better? Not them weak ass niggas. Drop a couple songs, think they on the street ass niggas. Fake G ass niggas, never on the beat ass niggas. I feel like Brian, y'all done stuck me with some weak ass niggas for real. You know what the truth will come out here and get the spot of the realest? I solidify my spot with the realest. Now I rock with you niggas. It's time to purge this nigga. I really wanna hurt this nigga. Put both feet right through this pussy and bridge both this nigga. Twin cannons. Twin cannons. Twin cannons. Squeeze out one clip to mount this nigga, then drop that iron and pick up the loaded one and fold this nigga. So Right, what's good, boy? We on to check in. What's going on, my boy? I'm chilling, man. I'm good. You know, preparing for this classic I got coming up. What's that? I heard about. I heard something about you got a battle coming up. What's that? Yeah, man. Old Red versus Chef Trash, you know. I see you got the ring on. What's that? The belt behind you? Yeah, man. You know, champion of the year. First, yeah, and and shit, man. You know, you was the very first champion of the year, right? That the first time they ever did yeah. that shit. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, shout out to champion, shout out to Jay Black. I think you had, I think five battles the year that you won it. Yeah, two RBE, two URL, and one U Dub. Yep. Yeah, I remember because it's part of RBE stats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sure. That them them RBE performances definitely put me over the top, you know. So you know what the other side is though, right? <laughs> that math problem. Math problem. <laughs> math problem. He had to battle with disaster the same day I battled with Nitty. So it's kind of an even playing field. You know, seven true. days for him, seven days for me. He, that's true, that's true. If I'm not mistaken, math. Math at one point in time did like four battles in a month, you know, so. He was one was of the right. first to start that trend, I think. Yeah, that was right up his alley. I, ha I had done battled um, maybe maybe like a year or so before that. I had battled T-Rex six days, six days before I battled Young L. You was at the Young L performance too, man. I be watching that battle, seeing you like, they don't know, bro. Hey, yeah. he was here. He was here Front for it, man. Yeah. Front and center. I don't. I don't know. Is that is that full round or that full battle even on YouTube? It's not. Uh, it is. It's just on an off-brand channel. You I've know, never so. on YouTube seen the footage of when Young Ill started wilding and like threatening the crowd and all that type of shit. Nah, that, that that's not up there. That that in the th that's the third round. The third round not up there. It's just the first and second round. A lot of people don't know the history uh, of when we started the Blood, Sweat, and Tears series. So that's when I hit you for oops. Yeah. And if it yep. wasn't for that math booking, I don't know if we would have been able to get you to take the oops back. You remember nah. that? If it wasn't for high for canceling, I wouldn't even take his ass. Case in point, let's play a game real fast. Oops. What's a thousand plus a thousand times zero? <laughs> it wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened because it was. Uh, I understand what you was trying to do as far as the blood, sweat, and tears thing, but at that time, Oops just didn't have enough battles. Like he just, he really didn't. But he was fire. It's like he had a, he had a handful of battles. And it's like, I, I know he can rap, but in his handful of battles, he also had some mishaps. And then, you know, so I probably would have came at you like, oh, yeah, it's, it's somebody else that I could battle or something like that. Maybe the show-off battle might have happened sooner because at that time, I was still a fan of the show-off. 
because I remember when I hit you for the oops thing, and I had to I had to go through this with everybody on the call, explain what we were trying to do, because everybody was against it. And you pushed mm-hmm. me on the business side a little bit. I don't, I want to say that on camera, but you pushed me <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, you know I mean, like, look, if I'm gonna take oops, you know, boom, 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 I gotta do this. And I respected it, but um, here's the question because that battle is it's an RBE classic. Mm-hmm. If you and Sammy, Sammy Wild 100s didn't bet that $2,000 and this judged on the footage, would you have still showed up that crazy for Oops? This battle could have been close to you and Sammy bet that change on it. Now you getting 3 0 P.S. This body got your name on it. He probably would have cooked me if, I, if we ain't make that bet. So that money because, push. Because truth be told, truth be told, uh, the first round was the round I had prior to the bet. The second and third round that I came up with, I didn't do any of that until after we had the bet. I would say after that, something that was just ridiculous was it might be my favorite overhead translation. Y'all ready? I said, and I'm strapped. The comma is not a my kala, my abu fa fa. You got bama, da da for the da 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 ma. Ha ska ha, la na asta asa la bana. Crazy thing, fun fact, my top two, my top two translations to me, both of them is on RBA. You probably going to say the Shoney and the Show Off? Nah, you, you bugging the Shoney and the Show Off. You, man, listen. Man. Second, number two is Oops. Number one, that big K one, man. That's the best translation. Oh, the fighting Irish yeah. The old solo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's the best translation ever. With speed behind you and shit. Yeah, one yeah. nigga bring two. Nah, oh nah, solo. Oh so, yeah. solo. That's yeah. the first. That's the first translation that got like two room shakers in a four bar setup. It got two of them. What you say, get jiggy with it? Get jiggy with it, right? Fuck it. I said, ma na spatra da na ava, wa na bratat na asa jama na para. Ba ba ha ta pa na alpha like na da la now let me guess that was trash that was garbage well stand patient it gets better with a motherfucking translation I said me nice speed three deep in the old Volvo one nigga bring two nah oh solo <laughs> Upstairs, outside, like a balcony. But oops, yeah. Yo, in, in the footage, I was, I was probably, I was new to hosting back then. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was just in league on the mode. But sometimes I was definitely biased on that stage. You know what I'm saying? You caught some of my bias in the show off battle, battle, but we get there. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? When, when he said, when he said, um, he said, "Ain't no crying at RBE neither," and I set the ball with him to you. Yeah, guys. I'm like, oh. <laughs> 
This is show off the legend killer, R&B singer versus Mr. Ain't no crying in it, you are real. Oh, bitch, ain't no crying in it, I'll be eating me. Yeah. <laughs> Show off, nigga. Check, check, check. Yo, listen, listen, man, shit. I apologize to old Red. I apologize to old Red. You know what I'm saying? That shit gonna look biased as fuck on the footage. But I was just on my RBE shit, y'all. Apology. It's hard to. Is the the thing about it, man, with battle rap is fans, fans, a lot of fans don't understand that we really be genuine fans of this. Not just the battlers, but the league owners and all that. It's hard to. It's hard to have someone stand there throughout an entire battle of people who actually nice. You know they're going to say fire shit. How can you expect them not to react or something? What um, made you write one of your best rounds ever like that for show off to come out the gate with your first? <coughs> show off is one of the best writers I've ever heard in battle rap, bro. He's one of the best writers in battle rap. Period, bro. Agree. Whether you're whether you feel like he may have had some off performances or something, he is one of the best writers. His even his resume shows it. Not just the old red battle when he battled Jay, it shows. When he battled Loso, it shows. When he battled uh, on the all, all, I believe he battled Saint Mike on Crazy Battle. A we go hard. That's one of the best battles I've seen. Mm. Period. That's one of the best battles I've seen. You know, so he he always had that like, nah, bro, he too fire. If you're not ready, you're gonna end up like certain people ended up looking at standing in front of him. That, yeah, so. that, that first round, it, it was it, it felt like it was designed to just take the battle off the rip. All three rounds in the first, damn near. It's like, and you, you you link that later on. I'm not a star. Somebody lied. I got a chopper in the car. Send my squadron to get it. You head home, we go to Brooklyn and barging in with it. I'm in showroom with the chopper like a Harley exhibit. Wait, wait. Wait. Wait, wait. wait, wait. Great American outdoors. That mean I'm hunting show. Catch him chilling with Hitman, brother. Then let a couple go to clips. A spin off, but they started on that other show. When the clip was spin off, it started on the show. You see? You see what? Then we get to the second round. Mm -hmm. Get to the second round, and I think that's where you had your setup about the contract shit, right? Now nah, that was in the third. That was, that was third? in the third. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so the first round and the third round are the most memorable. Yeah. The third the round, a lot of people round, said was overkill. Yeah. You know what's funny about that contract thing in the third? Go ahead. That, uh... <laughs> Motherfucker. When I, when, when, <laughs> when I initially prepared that round, when I initially prepared that round, I wound up taking that part of that round out. Mm -hmm. my, 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 round was to, my round was really supposed to start off with the uh, murder in the first shit. That was supposed to be my first four bars. I think it's time y'all heard somebody say this and actually mean it and do his uh, slogan and flip it into the murder. And that was supposed to be the way I started the round off. The only reason that contract uh, shit, because half of it was like freestyle. I don't know if you could listen to it. You could tell it's kind of choppy, like, but it was because I started to put it in the round then I took it out. And when we, when they, when they, when you introduced us for the battle, he said, you know, you never had my name on no piece of paper, you know, <laughs> like that, like no contract killer, you know, never had my name on no piece of paper. So me and nice, you know, and, I mean, for those who know nice is like my right hand, man, we looked at each other. I'm like, he like, put that shit back, bro. <laughs> Do you remember the, the, the Bowser setup? Do you remember the whole thing? To be able to say mm -hmm. it and recite it. You remember it? Yeah. Go ahead. Of course. I said, uh, he said, since you brought up my son, I'll murder all of your kids for what you talking, B. Your oldest son. Uh, nah, I, I'll murder all of your kids for what you talking, bro. Since this nigga brought up my son, you know what? All of your kids could get murked for what you talking, bro. Your oldest son, bow to the neck. I mute this audio. Your youngest son, bow to the chest. Reduce his cardio, then bow. Yo, 
I say your oldest son, bow to the neck. I mute his audio, your youngest son, bow to the chest. Reduce his cardio, then bows and take your princess from you. Super Mario, you <laughs> And bows and take your princess from you. Super Mar That's one of my favorite bars ever. That's what I'm bro. trying to say. The nigga said reduce your cardio. <laughs> like, that's wicked. That that to me was, was one of your most wicked performances ever. Ever. Those rounds was ridiculous. Then we lead into Big K. Mm -hmm. Your short performance was a 10. What was your Big K performance? Uh, like a 7. Try me! Shit pop, I pull a heck out the jeans, tell a cameraman, don't move! Let the weapon rock his team, put his melon by the thing, bah! Watch those viewers be iPhone users, a cracker be on everybody's screen! Me! Me! Big K might be the worst one. Mm. That might be, because I feel, I like me versus Oops better, I like me versus Show Off better. I think me me versus Shoney was a classic, you know, like so. Nah, I think you think you're right. I think, <laughs> I, think, I, think I think you might be right. I think because yeah. and now it was yeah. like me versus Big K wasn't a bad. It, it wasn't even a bad battle. That's the crazy part. It just it just wasn't because people it's like you said leading up with Champion of the Year, me and him both up here. The expectations for that battle was through the roof. You know, so they, people wanted that to be nothing short of a classic. I think the performance that we're leaving out now, and I don't know how you scale this one, is the Jay Murder battle. Can I turn up? Yeah. Fuck, fuck murder. Next shot for Joel when them shit's ripping. Whistling all through Jay vocals. Big Pippin, me and you. Whistling. Whistling all through Jay vocals. Big Pippin, me and you, big difference. I snap your wig missing. 240 pointing next to Joel. I'm Ben Simmons. Reddick. 240 pointing next to Joel. I'm Ben Simmons. Reddick rage. Simmy busting. Fuck up your kidney function. He gonna have to buy yourself a new one. My Jimmy Buckets. <laughs> That battle, you 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 unleashed a, a lot of those sports bars like you always do. What the fuck brings you into them the sports world like that when it comes to rapping? Like you, the top guy that does that. I feel like I am. It's a few people who who be trying to uh, challenge me for that crown, you know. Who? But who? They don't, they don't do it enough. Uh, I would say people. Who I would put say surf in there. Yeah, surf, surf, hitman, Charlie Clips, and Chilla Jones. And now, as of recent, uh, A Ward. I vision you like Cam Newton when the strap with you move. Take flight. You got an arm, but you pass pitiful. I feel like a lot of these dudes could very easily not talk about sports. I feel like it's the toughest for me because I love it so much. <laughs> Which kind of, in turn, makes me the king, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, man, my first, one of my first uh, URL battles, I think. I uh, had like a, my first round was a, a scheme about the finals that year that had all the players on the Lakers, all the players on the Celtics, and the coaches. I put coaches in my schemes, man. Chilla, step your schemes up, man. Then you ended up getting three rounds with a female, and that mm -hmm. was Shuni. Yeah. So a lot of people expected you to play because you had a, a female battle. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Then you had a lot of people that forgot about the hustle shit, but – you still kind of OD <laughs> to a degree. You know what I'm saying? You OD, you know what I mean? Like the way you went at Fetty, the way you, you locked things together. What was your prep process for Shuni? Like what was making you take her the same way you take anybody else? Shuni was the only female. Shuni was the only female in the Source's top 20 battles. 20 battle rappers of the year. She was the only female on there. And, uh... I, I believe she repeated this year, if I'm not mistaken. Like she, she's on there again, but it's I believe it's someone else up there. It's another female up there. But yeah, she was the only female in the source top twenty, and she was wild. And like, she only got so much better to me than what she used to be. Like she could actually rap. When I watched her 
versus uh, Fetty. I genuinely – and Fetty Fire, bro, that's my man, 100 grand, but I think she won. Mm. You know, so it's like that put the rest – that puts the rest anybody trying to say he really right for her, you know. Like it kind of put that to rest for me personally because it's like – I mean, if I write for you, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna help you say nothing better than what I'm about to say to you. That's out. That's not happening. Speaking of Fetty, we could you could tell in the first round you were saying bars, thinking that he might have been on stage behind her. Uh -huh. He was in the crowd, and when you figured that out, you knew exactly how to tunnel that. What makes you take risks like that? Like you don't know if he's gonna be there, if he's not gonna be there. How do you take creative risks like that when you prep for a battle? Hey, yo, Fetty Chief! I hope you got that calico, nigga. I ain't talking ratchets, cause I keep a tool cock, sonny. I'm talking caskets. I hope you got shoe box money. That battle, I genuinely felt like I know for a fact he's gonna be there. Now, if he did, if he wasn't there, that would have killed my whole yeah. preparation. Like, because I would, like I said, up into that battle. He is he is at every battle she has out of town. He's there. He support you know, he's showing his support and all that, you know. So I really feel like he was definitely gonna be there. And when when I got there the first the first day, I believe, she was there and he wasn't. And I got nervous, bro. Like, but I seen him then I seen him the next day, I think. Like he wasn't there for the, the face offs, I believe. I don't think he was there for the face offs. Yeah, and but yeah, he kind of showed up a little. No, 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 no. I'm lying. He wasn't outside. I said when I first showed up, they were outside, so he wasn't outside. You know, I went in, went inside, got my room and situation right, and when I came back out, he was out there. So I'm like, ah, right, thank you. <laughs> you know, because man, if he wasn't there, a lot of stuff in it there would have fell very flat. What you talking about? What you talking about? You lost to your wife, nigga! You lost to your wife, nigga! That's why she the black widow! But trust and believe, that don't mean she could black widow a knife! Now this evident, B! Cause now you out here on some sucker nigga shit! Motherfucker think he's slick! Can't put trust up in his bitch! So we acting like he's supporter and loving what she spit. You just came with her so she won't suck another nigga dead. And it leads you now to Chef Trez. Where we at with these rounds, man? Are you done? Are you still writing? Are you memorized? Are you still where we at? Where the prep I'm still, at? I'm still prepping. I'm still preparing, man. You know, uh, I'm one of writing? them dudes. Yeah, I'm one of them dudes who. But that's how I am. I'm going to prepare like almost all the way up into the battle. That prime example, that Bowser line, that Bowser line wasn't in that in my show off round maybe the day before the battle. It wasn't there. Wow. You know, that uh what else? That Shoney translation? It wasn't there. Like I could I could point out a lot of stuff in them battles that oops uh Maya Angelou. It wasn't there the day before the battle. You don't get to certain spots in your round and feel like, damn, I put this in yesterday or today. Like, like that's easy for you to do when it comes to prep? Yeah, because it's, it, it be combinations. Like, it's not just, it's not like, oh, I have to remember every single bar. It's literally just, I, if I add something, once I'm going over my rounds the day before, or like right before when I add something, I make it a focal point. I make the first that the words for that first bar right there a focal point to the point where I can actually mess up on something else because I'm not really thinking about it. But that's a focal point. I'm not going to mess up on this part. I can't mess up on this part right here. If I do, I'm done up. You know, so and once I get through that, I'm right back where I was at. Just flowing like, you know, because at, when I prepare, as I prepare, I'm um, memorizing my bars because I do combinations. A lot of my a lot of my bars ain't two bar setups. It's four bars, eight bars, stuff like that. So it's like 
the whole eight bar combination is very easy to me, for me to memorize. You normally get a lot of credit for being one of the best writers in the game. Me personally, I think when you start mentioning the best writers, you got to talk about a Lux, you got to talk about a Daylight, and you got to put Old Red in the same group when you talk about writers. Be humble, because my little Uzi don't mumble. More rings than Jordan, Brady, and Russell. Mixed with a game of Russell. You die for in battle rap and if so why what what's what would um, what would make you the best bat writer in battle rap when you're put into the same bracket as somebody like a lux or a daylight or some of these guys that they did their pen their intricacy their complexity along mm -hmm. with the delivery and that style of, of writing all that complex words all that multi-syllable shit and then you're adding in the, the punch lines and the creativity with it what would what would put you in the same bucket as those guys and have you come out saying that no red takes that I'm so glad you asked me that uh i'm I'm really more proud of the why than the than the question itself and and the reason why why is because a lot of it's a lot of uh characteristics as far as writing that that's uh that it's a lot of characteristics or a lot of talents, I should say, that come into play when you're writing that doesn't get any credit whatsoever when, say, like someone like me is doing it and people are not really, like, for me, a huge part of uh, your lyricism and showing if you can, how good you are as a writer, it's not just, it's not just uh, your punches or like dipping in and out of flows here and there, or even the multi-syllabic combinations. Alliteration doesn't get enough credit for me, which I do a lot of. You know, uh, I feel like, uh, what else doesn't get enough credit? I feel like subject matter doesn't get enough credit. Easter, yeah, like your ability to drop Easter eggs, which means, what I, what I mean by Easter eggs is saying like, me using a subject or me flipping something that this person has done and not having to explain that in my bars. You know, me not having to, like, show, like, I, this is what's going on. Prime example, my writing, my writing style for uh, Daylight. Prior to me battling Daylight, Daylight showed up as a Matrix character, I believe, against B-Magic. This was when I battled him in Hala. So when I prepared for Daylight, I had, uh, what I did was I put, a matrix reference in every single round, you know, so people don't really understand. All right, this is what I'm referring to in his career, mm. you know, because I didn't explain it. I didn't say I prior to me saying those matrix bars. I didn't say you dressed up like a matrix character versus magic, you know. So if I don't say it, people not gonna get it, you know. But <laughs> like all that, all that type of stuff comes into play, man. I feel like uh. Don't nobody really do that like me, bro. The Easter, the Easter egg <laughs> thing is, is interesting. Like, yeah, like I'm, 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 I'm a critic, man. I, I'm a fan when it comes to music, acapella, on beat, and movies. Like, I'm a guy that'll watch a movie like Avengers Endgame and then mm -hmm. watch some of these director's cuts and some of these people break down the hundreds of Easter eggs that the directors put into the movie just to shock my brain, like, damn, like, them, whoever wrote that script and wrote those parts and those eggs into the movie was on some genius level shit. Exactly. And it's like, on they're not, if, if you're not, if you're not hip to the history, you ain't going to get it. But they're not going to explain it in the movie either. You know, it's just going to be there. Boom. Give me, give me some Easter eggs or some bars 
that you feel nobody ever got, but to you, they're just masterful shit. That I said, or that I feel like someone no, else that you know that you said, masterful uh, shit. And you just feel um, y'all niggas missed that. Uh, my second round for uh, my second round for who I believe John John and Don had no gun bars whatsoever. Like I didn't have a single gun bar in my second round for John John and Don because he was prior to that battle. He he had a uh, he had an angle for somebody where, where he was saying like y'all always use gun bars in y'all rounds. You know, it was it was kind of one of those things. So I didn't say it at all in my second round. I just wrapped my second round. Um, and to this day, probably without me saying it right now, people probably still don't think. Oh no! Like, and the funny this is a funny thing. I seen a comment. I seen a comment in regard to that battle where they said, "Yo, old Red sound like Turk in his second round." Mm. And we know how Turk is when it comes to gun bars. But I didn't have a single. I didn't have a single. Bow, a single gun bar, nothing in my second round. You know, so I work with a grip, and after I murder this bitch, Tina fighting back in the it's I turn to get it. Me versus Ill Will. When Ill Will battled, I can't remember who Ill Will battled on URL, but he had a I will hem you up like they gonna have to hem you up. And he like, you don't understand what I'm saying. That's smack, nigga. I will hem you up. Mm. So I kind of flipped that when I battled him as far as I said, your barber need to like, I, cause I, I'm saying his hairline messed up and your barber need to smack you, not literally smack you. I mean, shave you bald. He need to smack you. So it was one of those, it was like a flip mm -hmm. on the him. You, yeah. up and, um, yeah. so you, you, <laughs> but, you bring shit back from people's previous battles without even saying it and letting people know that I like, you don't set up and say like in your last battle, you yeah. said, so now I'm going to say, you just leave it. There. Yeah, exactly. I Which is why I don't really get, too much recognition or credit, you know, but I, so I, I feel like that's what I do a lot of because I'm real bent on people finding things out for themselves instead of us having to explain that thing or me yeah. tell you everything I'm doing, bro. Like, you follow battle rap like I follow it, man. Come on, man. All of this multi-syllable type setup, like, this is just my my opinion. You can confirm it for me once and for all. I feel like you purposely write times where you don't finish your words on purpose. Yeah, because the way you're leading into the next line. Mm -hmm. This is this is all this is all the way that you sit down and, and you write that shit. Like finish the words yeah. that you stay on a certain type of pattern just to get into the next bar, the next line that's coming behind it. You talk like a gangster, like you murdering shit, laying niggas down with a fire. What's some worship -ish. You don't move with burners and clips. You for certain the bitch. Street hymns do more busting, and he a virgin and shit. Really, sometimes it don't even be in the way with it. Um, the words don't even be in the way. I just say it on a a mental level, an intellect level. I know you. I know y'all get where I'm going with this. I ain't even gotta finish the word. I know y'all know what I'm about to say. You and Daylight are my favorite writers in battle. I don't know if I ever told you that. But nah, you, you didn't. Yeah, so let's 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 put it out there now. You you and Daylight, without me even picking one, are my favorite writers in the game. Yeah. Now that's 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 just my writer's picks. If you yeah. had to say there's one person closest to you when it comes to putting that pen to pad. From a writing standpoint only, forget all the other attributes and intangibles of being a battle rapper like crowd control and, and presentation and stage presence and aggression and performance and creativity. For, put all of the attributes aside, just mm -hmm. pen to pad, because I know writers can respect writers and I know writers peep other writers like, oh, okay, I, I see what you did there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who would be the closest person to you as far as writing ability? Ooh. It's a few people, man. It's a few people. Need one. Man. I need one. Uh, <laughs> just one. Just just one. I mean, it's kind of I mean, I feel like the closest, the closest, closest, as far as me, me and daylight, if I would say I would probably say Lux. You know, um yeah, I would probably say Lux. You know, because it, and it, for me, it becomes a pace thing. 
you know, some of these dudes can't really switch up their pace. Lux can switch up his pace. Pull two straps behind the back. Let me take my apron off. This <laughs> How do you see mm -hmm. the outcome of this battle? Like, like can Trez take around? Is he a, a, a real, real formidable opponent? Is this going to be a, a walk in the park for you? Uh, um, what, how do you see this this battle going? Uh, I felt like we should have battled already. Honestly, I felt like uh, yeah, it's one of those. It's just one of one of them matchups where you know it's going to be a good battle. And that's genuinely how I feel. I feel like it's just going to be a fire battle, bro. Um, he's going to get around. You know, He, I, I, I would be a fool to say he's not going to be a, get around, you know. But don't be surprised if he don't get one. I'm going I'm to say that. Don't be surprised if he don't get one. He could get one. He could actually get two. You know, but don't be surprised if he don't get one at all. I say ain't even on no tire shit. Uh -huh. Yo, as far as y'all wildin' when this nigga rhyming, quick. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said something about Lion King and something about channels again. This guy a bitch. Cause if he move faster, nigga on my side of fire sticks. The thing about rebuttals is they most effective with crowds present, you know, and with energy. The energy in the building, a lot of times with rebuttals, can translate on camera very well, you know. Um, but when it, when you're not, when the crowds is not like, you know, because given the situation we all going through, with the crowds not being how they should be or, or how they were in the past, I feel like rebuttals are still fire, but the risk is not worth the reward you're going to get for it. It's, you're not going to get no super crazy reward for it. You know, but he's going to do it regardless. You know, that's what he does. You know, so especially if I'm putting my foot up his ass, you know, you better flip some of this shit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny, too, because I did a so, video the other day talking about uh, Trez and some of his uh, fourth round versus Sharon. That was just a pure rebuttal round. I think he gets so much credit yeah. for his rebuttaling that people don't talk about his pen. People forget his how it's crazy me. his pen is. Yeah. It's me. It's my fault. Nah. <laughs> we gonna talk about it though. <laughs> but it's my fault. You know, so we all know that we all know it's my fault, you know. <laughs> all right, man. Yo, give me your final Chef Trez prediction and give me give me a statement. If Chef Tress was right here face to face, y'all gonna see each other for the face off, but if he was right here right now, what would you say to him before we get out of here? Oh, survive, buddy. Make sure you survive. You know, the belly to the hat, boy. Survive, my boy. Yo, take us out of here, man. I appreciate you as always, man. We're gonna chop it up and then I'm gonna see you at the face offs. We're gonna get that done and then we're gonna see these classic rounds for the mask on event. But take us out of here, man. You already know O Red the Transformer at O R E D 973. You heard me? Jersey.